Hello and welcome to this new video on our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. Today we are going to work on showing you the relationship between the torso and the hips, the timing, the contraposition, all you need to know about that. This will be more focused towards the follower, but also the same principle applies for the leader, just for you to know. And we're going to use a parada step, mm -hmm. just one of the steps that we use this a lot. Yes. So we can go ahead and show it. Yeah, right away. Them. Yes. Not wasting time. So we change her body weight just for, for, to show you. We're going to take an ocho and we're going to go directly to parada. Let me show you the step that we're going to use at first without a technique. So you can see that. And now we end the move. Just here going to any position. Yeah, so how I use the torso to be connect with the leader and to have the momentum from the for the hips to unwind and have more effect and be connected all the time. Yeah. So let's try it one more time. I will spin a little bit for followers. So we are signed with the front ocho, another forward ocho. Now this is a very important point here. I'm facing the leader, for that I have to open a lot the right shoulder and the torso is very much to my right. Hips are walking straight. When I see, okay, this is a parada because he's putting his foot next to mine. So I'm facing, the more I can to my right, rotating, keep rotating the torso, the upper body to the next point, but delaying the move with the hips. So I'm arriving first with my torso, upper body, and then I will unwind, pivoting the hips to the same angle, right? So yes. torso first, hips later. Now on the next one, this is crossing. I'm doing, again, torso is facing to the next direction. So I'm opening the left shoulder, I'm following the leader with the torso, but look the hips, not rotating yet. I delay this move, I, I can send the leg, but still I'm initiating with the hips out, torso facing the leader, then I will pivot and follow the leader on the next move. Still look in slow motion, I'm rotating the torso a lot to keep connecting with the leader. So it's not a square, torso and hips arriving later. In this case, I will stop here, it's a little harder mm. to stop here, but. I want to show you this. Very much I'm facing, opening the space on my left to later unwind and arrive to the position. Still, when I arrive with, to the position, hips keeps rotating out, hips facing outside, torso facing the leader. So from here I will again do the second parada with the same technique. Legs to the front, Torso to the leader on my right, legs, torso first, later I will unwind the hips very slowly, waiting for him to correct the position to go to the resolution or mm -hmm. next step. So you saw it in very slow motion, how the torso is always rotating the more I can and then unwind the hips and go to the other side with the torso. This is good for your balance, timing, to follow the lead. Styling, you look very much prettier on that, that, with, that, with that style. And it helps prevent some... Rushing moments. Rushing and position for the leader. Yeah. Can we show them what yeah. happens if they do that? Actually, actually, yeah, uh, one of the most common problems in Parada is when she rushes and she goes in one piece, like we are going to show you now, and she bumps with the knee. So, let us show you. So don't, this is wrong. Don't, don't do, this. do this. She will be rushing her knee here. Tuck. Did you ever have that problem? Let us know in the comments below. If you often, often encounter like bumping or by the time he got there, you are already on the other side, like tuck, tuck. So make sure you do not rush for the follower. And that happens because, one more time, let's show sure. this part wrong. again. This is a wrong version, but you need to see what is wrong to know what is good, what is right, right? If I don't move the torso, if I go together my hip with my torso, this Thanks. is happening. I, I have no time to go. I'm encountering his leg with my knee, and this is because I move in one piece, boom. Yeah. So the correct way is to 
open the torso, follow the leader with the torso, and then later, you know where you go with the head, with the torso, and later you can adjust and uh, easily go to that angle outside to create nicer lines and nicer yeah. timing with the leader. And uh, right away after that, the same case, for example, we did already the parada, did you notice that she's following me with the torso, but not right away with the hip? Sometimes I feel this hip rotating with the torso at the same time, which is not, not proper, and I feel that she's falling towards me, yeah? Not her, another, <laughs> another followers, but here's the thing. She goes first with the torso and then accommodates the hip, creating a little circle, yeah? That's what I noticed from this technique. So here's the same. If I do torso, this is wrong. If I do torso together with the leg, I will do this. Boom. Encounter him. So I have to open the more like I'm exaggerating here. And then go with the hips. Angle the hips outside. Don't finish the move here. Mm. Keep rotating your hips pivoting all the way outside while the torso is facing him. And then we extend the leg in front of you. Don't extend the leg close to him. Extend the leg close uh, outside to create a semicircle to go again to the resolution cross mm -hmm. or another parada. So the timing is always different. Torso, upper body, and hips, legs are using different timing. Don't move in one uh, block, in one like move all together, very square. Try to disassociate and then move. Before we show you this again one more time with the real time, we would like to remind you that on our website, mediumleonardotango.com, we have a full course about paradas, different type of paradas, reverse paradas with different exits, different endings, you name it. So now, mediumleonardotango.com, just for you to know. So here we go. We're going to show you this one, taking it from an ocho. Parada, lifting. Mm. Torso. Mm. And from here we can go directly to a resolution. So something very important mm -hmm. that you have to use this technique for other steps, not mm. only on parada. Yeah. So you will encounter this on sacadas, boleos, ganchos, walking, uh, side sacadas, many, many places for followers and for leaders. For followers is a little more extreme. Yeah. But we always have to face the leader with the torso to be connect, and then the legs are playing around. So it's not only for paradas. We are showing this in paradas, but you can apply this in other figures as well. Yeah, later we are going to do another video, for, especially most torso for the leader, so we can show you where we disassociate a lot and we use this type of technique. By the way, we are reading all your comments. Thanks so much for that. It helps a lot to get inspiration from you, yeah. but also to create new topics because we are um, listening to the questions that you have and creating new videos uh, based on that. Thanks so much. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.